Welcome back to week two of 12 weeks of Christmas with Paula. We're going to have fun creating greeting cards and a really neat little wall hanging. So stick around till the end. Today we're going to be using the Picture This Christmas Cut Above Card Kit, which is out just recently. Um, it's a promotion for um, Christmas this year from Close to My Heart. And it is a cut above style kit, which means it is simple and easy to put together. So this kit comes with a whole array of photo framed cards so that you can pop your festive photo in of your family and um, send it away to your loved ones all over the world. Now we've got two options with this. You can create it as a photo frame simply or you can create it with a acetate frontage and all little shaker elements inside just to make it a bit more interactive. So let's have a look at what comes in the kit. So the full kit to create the shaker card as well comes as a complete package with so many goodies inside. So as you can see, we've got all of the card envelopes that you require and these are actually your 5 by 7 sized um, cards, so that slightly larger size. We also have all the card bases, so they've been pre-printed with this lovely little framed design on them. And they're a nice, strong, sturdy weight cardstock which have been pre-scored and you can simply create your card this direction or this direction all ready to roll. We have also got in this kit a whole heap of little stickers that you can put on the back of your envelopes. So that creates a nice little effect as you post it away with a little merry mail. Kind of cute, nice and easy. We also include in this kit a whole heap of punched out die cuts. So this is a way that we can take our card and add a little bit of extra something to it so we can add up layers. So we've got one of those little die cuts for each card and we've also got a variety of little sentiments that you can punch out and use. So we've got Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas. So all of those are going to work really well depending on your style and what you prefer. Now you'll also see that there is these little cut out frames all ready to go. Now this is what's going to frame your actual photo on the front of your card. So that's your little element that's going to come in here and then we're going to add our little extra bonuses around the edge. All the little pieces that we choose to pop in which look really fun and so quick and easy. So all of this comes in this kit and then at the back because this is the shaker version we have got a couple of sheets of really sturdy acetate. Now this is going to become the card frontage on top of your photo so that you can seal your photo under it and add your little shaker elements. There are three different types. There are silver stars, gold stars, and these very cute flower confetti elements that you can pop behind your acetate to give that little piece of dimension. And of course, to customize your card at the very end, you want to add a little stamp inside. So we've got this really fabulous stamp set. It has all of these great um, little sentiments. The most heartfelt of Christmas wishes to you and your family. Really classic and, sta and standard. Wishing you the best this holiday. I love actually how these words are all in different angles. This one says best wishes for happy holidays and a joyous new year. Wishing peace and love, cheer in the new year. Hoping the magic of Christmas will fill your heart with happiness. Absolutely beautiful. And of course a little splattering of something really interesting that you can use to help decorate the inside. So that is your kit. It is fabulous. It comes together so quickly. You get to create a whole heap of cards. I believe there are 10 in here. or could be 12 actually. I would have to come and actually look at the information a bit better, don't I? But there is a whole ton inside there. Now as a little bonus, if you go for the shaker kit, you can also get this extra element um, this is going to be something that's going to be useful in the new year as well, I believe, because we may, I've heard a little birdie say, be going into slightly larger cards and envelopes um, as an option, which would be really cool. So this die cut has two different sized flaps to be able to decorate the back of your envelope. So you can do your outside edging and you can do the little inside edging and swell 
and they're all lovely and stitched look. So that is going to be an absolutely wonderful tool to have. I can actually see some really fun little, t well, ma major tabs coming out of scrapbook pages as well that you can use to write some journaling on. So I think that's going to be a very handy tool in the future. So that's the kit. What do you think, guys? Picture this Christmas. I absolutely love it. So let's put one of these lovely cards together. I've got this cute photo of one of our cats. His name's Puzzle, and he absolutely loves wrapping paper. I'm sure you've got a pet like that too. So what I am doing first is cutting a 6x4 piece of the acetate. Now that's going to be the front of our shaker. Now I'm going to glue the little frame that is provided in the kit around that acetate. I did have a few issues with my wet glue, so I, I switched to my close to my heart glue, which is another great option for skinny pieces. So I've adhered that um, adhesive um, on, and so now we have got the front of our shaker window. And then I'm just going to use a skinny uh, part of my foam roll, my foam tape, to create the raised element. So now I can put my photo directly onto the back photo frame, and I can put a few little shaker pieces into the middle. So I'm going with those very cute little florals. They're so sparkly and they look fabulous. And then I'm just gonna peel off the backing of my foam tape and put my little window on the front. How easy is that? Very, very cool. Now we've just got a few little extra pieces we can embellish with. So we've got our little flourish of um, sprig on the side and we've got a few different sentiments we can use as well. So we've put our little Merry Christmas together and then I go inside with the stamp set and find my favourite saying which is the one about the magic of Christmas. So seasoning up that stamp first before I use it as I haven't used it before and I also stamp a few times on some scrap paper. I always do this with a brand new stamp. So look at that cute card. Now I'm going to go in with those thin cuts to decorate the back of the envelope. And I've actually pulled out the mix-in paper pack for this. So I've got a lovely mist background and then some patterned paper. So of course, you can bring in your stamp set on top of making that beautiful little card and bring in some other photos. And in this instance, you stays on ink to put your titles directly onto the photos themselves. So I've done a couple of those examples. Here's another one here, wishing you the best this holiday, and using the photo shape to be able to put my little uh, flourish around. And in this case, I've added in a little bit of embellishments from our little embellishment set as well. So there's a whole host of ways you can decorate your cards with your photos to make them personal to you. So now we're going to bring in the pocket cards because that's another fabulous way to decorate these card bases. So I've got this fun Christmas tree that's from the Christmas Story Pocket Picture My Life card set. And then I'm going to take the frame and actually use those little stars and florals and create a nice little frame with sage ink around the edge just to make it a little bit different, a little bit more interesting than plain white in this case. So I add that to my pocket card on the card and then I'm going to go away and look for a few other embellishments. So we have obviously got the embellishment that comes in the kit, which is that floral sprig. Then I have created this cute little jar, mason jar, with a Christmas scene. And then in my Christmas story um, embellishment set, there's this fun 25 layered up piece. So I add a few little um, asterisk stars in here as well. Um, I actually end up raising that sprig on the side and then, of course, in our embellishment set, there's a whole heap of gold stars. So I'm going to pop one of those on top of the Christmas tree, which is really fun. So that's another way of decorating these lovely card bases. Now, I have joined these together, and a little project is a like a little wall hanging. And you can pop them still into the envelope, so long as you don't make too many of them shakers. So here I am going to show you how I created that. So I actually go into my trimmer and from one inch in to one and a half inches in, I cut a tiny wee slit. And then I pop a small amount of ribbon through that slit. And then I use glue dots to adhere it on the inside. Glue dots are one of our stronger adhesives, but I don't completely rely on the glue dot and I do bring in our red tape. Now I'm actually doing it three quarters of an inch apart each of the cards so that they hang a little bit of a space in between. So yeah, I bring in that red tape just to make it a little bit extra strong and then I just need to simply adhere and close up that layer. So I'm now bringing in the other Picture My Life cards that we've now got in our range called Cherish and they look absolutely stunning on here. I've simply put a little acetate sheet on front to give it that glow or that little glisten and the three of them together look stunning. 
I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of these projects come together and seeing how quick and easy you can use this kit in your own way. So I've created some fun cards that I can now send away to some of my friends and family and I've created two wall hangings which are going to look really fun. The wall hangings could be an extended card and you write on the back and post it away or they could just be up for you around Christmas time. Hey, have a little look at that kit and enjoy playing along with me. Thanks for watching.